Cause I don't give a fuck what you say Yeah, I'ma do shit my way So you can go kick rocks I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make Yo, I got a lot of shit to say So I'ma do this every day I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave Six feet deep, wonder, but my body won't decay We back out here, y'all It's the next day Um, we back out here under the blazer Huh? No, it ain't gotta be a long one. It don't matter. Uh, so yeah, we back under here. Man, it's hot as I don't know what out here, man. Um, but everything's still here. Ain't nobody came and got none. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these um these backing plates for the um for the rear disc brake conversion. Uh we need to grab two of them, so hopefully we ain't out here too long. But I'm gonna show y'all kind of what we gotta do, man. If you're here for the first time, if you've been here and you ain't subscribed, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified when we dropping these videos, man. So this is what we got. Oh uh, man, we got a little shade now. It's hot, but it ain't too hot up on the hill. We gotta remove this cover. So once we remove this cover, uh, a bunch of fluid gonna come out, of course, and uh, that's so we can remove the axles. We gotta pull the axles out so we can get the backing plates out. Um, I'm not sure what size these bolts are, but yeah, it look like, look like a 13, which it is. So we're gonna go ahead and do this, remove all these bolts, and, uh, and we're gonna go from there. See if I can set y'all up somewhere, man. I ain't got no tripod. I got you. you recording though? Yeah. Oh, you ain't gonna record? Well, sure, you can give me your tripod then. Car friend said he tired. He said he ain't gonna record today. He ain't gonna get no footage today. Or you could just hold a camera for me, it don't matter. I wish we would have had time to do this yesterday, y'all. That ain't this that ain't the same size, huh? I don't know why they would put two different sizes on here. They're just like in the uh in the front. Maybe it's me. The other ones was coming off though. I don't like these. I don't like these uh these sockets, man. These coming off. So maybe the boat's just stripped. I don't know. Maybe in this one. This one look too. See if we can get a 12. Cause that one, I don't know if it's stripped or what, but it ain't coming off. Shoot, honestly, I probably could just, I probably ain't even gotta take that one off. I could probably just pry this uh, cover back. Let me see what this 12 look like. I don't know. All right, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Y'all can see it's already starting to leak a little bit. We're going to go ahead and pull this thing off and let all this crap come up out of here and then get to work. Yeah, just give me a flat head so we can try this cover off. You got it on the flat head already? Right here. There you go. That shit stank. 
Thank you, bro. I need smoke. I do. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so yeah, so right here, I ain't trying to get all um, wet and stuff. But right here, we gotta take this little this little boat out. That way we can get this. Um, I'm going to need an eight. It's a size eight that I got to use for that. So, y'all, I ran into a small problem. Not a big one, but I just thought I'd be able to get. So, this is the boat that I got to get out so that I can push this little rod through so I can release the C-clips, right? But there's a piece. This piece right here was on there, which made it in the way, like... I couldn't get the ratchet and the um, and the socket on there, so I had to remove that piece so that I can get to this. Um, if I had a wrench that fit, I would have been alright, but I don't. So, you know, you gotta you gotta use what you can. And then this is a eight. This is a size eight, so. Motherfucker tight too. Y'all give me a second, I'll be back. Yeah, I ain't wanna strip it. Last time I tried to do this, when I went to the junkyard, I wasn't ready, you know what I'm saying? But I ended up stripping the uh the boat and I got pissed off and just left it because I just wasn't about to deal with it, man. I didn't like I said I didn't go for that. I just decided to try to get it and I didn't have the correct tools. So I just left it there. But we back out here. We getting both of our we getting both of our rears today. Now I need you to turn that axle. No, no, from the, yeah, from the lug, the, from the neck, the wheel studs. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, go to the other side and turn it. Hey, man, this is the first time I ever did this, y'all. Y'all bear with me. Okay. You, you turn it forward. Yeah. Keep turning. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to figure out how everything work, y'all. Like I said, I ain't never did this before, so. Um, all right, so. Turn the, get under there and turn the drive shaft. Hey y'all, I almost forgot what I was doing for a second. It's been a while since I watched one of y'all YouTube videos on how to do this, but I did get that little pin out or whatever, and I forgot, which I just told my son to push in on the, uh, on the axle, and then this C-clip popped out, that C-clip right there. Now, Jamil, go to the other side and push, push in on it, and that other C clip should drop out. There it go, and there go the other C clip right there. You know, like I always tell y'all, man, it's amateur hour, man. Y'all be thinking I be knowing what the hell I be doing, man. I don't be knowing what I be doing, dog. Most of this stuff I'll be doing on the channel be my first time doing this. I am not a professional. I am not a mechanic. Just to let y'all know. So, if I can figure this stuff out, y'all can too, man. Don't be scared to get your hands dirty and get out there and get some done, man. Um, so now, now you can pull that axle out because the C-clip is what was holding it. 
and pull them out, pull both sides out, and then we can get that backing plate out. We ain't gonna be too long today, bet, man. See? And just like that, the axle is out. You can just throw it under the uh under the car. We don't need it. And then do the other side too. Axle so louder though. Just like that. Alright, so now we just gotta get the backing plate off. It's four <coughs> it's four um nuts and bolts. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. So you can see it better from the front now too. Mm -hmm those nuts and bolts on there so i'll take something and put on the back side and then you take you get whatever uh, size go there and then we'll gotta, get we, these off but yeah we'll be back y'all we about to get to work man then we got one more to do and we're gonna be up out of here all right y'all we got the backing plates off of this one we about to move on to the next one so we can get on the part of this uh junkyard so, uh, it wasn't too bad. Just had to remove the uh, the bolts and nuts off of these four. Now, this is what the G-Body junk gonna look like when we get ready to uh, to put the new backing plate on. We're gonna have to cut. Uh, Y'all will see all that process whenever we get to it. Um, I didn't take the e-brakes i hadn't did enough research on it yet to figure it out but uh i mean if i use it i'll figure it out later but for right now we're just getting these parts while they cheap got this side my son he done took all the stuff and gone he ready to work so we can get on up out of here but yeah ain't nothing to it but to do it man get out here and get these cheap parts these cheap upgrades man and i'm gonna take my little mat I know we're gonna make a mess. The other one, the other blazer right down here. He probably came down here already. Man, how far is it? I tell y'all, this hot out this mug, boy. Yeah, he already down here, ready. All right. There's more shade down here too. So we're gonna have to take, uh, and off. Yeah, we're gonna have to take the calipers off. Yep. We're gonna have to take all that off. Man, this look like a new battery. This is like a new battery, y'all. Almost new, 1219. They normally get them. You know, this unneeded crap out of our way, man. So yeah, while you taking the calipers, while you taking the calipers off of this one, I go ahead and uh -oh, start breaking the um that pumpkin. You probably never heard it called a pumpkin, huh? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But this one gonna be a little bit different getting to it because of how they got the uh how they got it propped up. But either way, we gonna get it. It's right there. He gotta he gotta get these calipers off. He know what he's doing because he just did it yesterday. So he gonna get the caliper and the rotors off. And I'm gonna work on this pumpkin. And uh, we gonna get it cracking, man. So we can get the hell up out of here, man. It's like 95 degrees today, and I'm leaking. Sheesh. You remember what size them was? For the for that, Jamil. Um, well, the, the twos are out. It was a it was a thirteen or a half one. It was a thirteen. If you can grab that for me, and you know you're gonna need that breaker bar probably for them uh for them calipers. Yeah, but this this one right here, I can't get it uh, ratchet in there, so I gotta use uh, this. I remember though, remember the brake line though. You can take the brake line off, and it'll give you more room. But you got that thirteen for me. About to set y'all up right here. 
and then I need the uh the the impact. Set y'all up right here on these rims that they done welded together. We got them bolts out. A little different with this one because this one, the other one didn't have a re the rear sway bar attached. Um, so it was a little harder to get into some places. But y'all know we gonna, we gonna, we gonna figure it out. There you go. This fluid is a lot cleaner. That other one, man, that thing, that shit stank. And it was like black. Yes, sir. Got this boy over here working. I'm working. You know what I'm saying? So now, like I said, because I can't get in there, I don't know where that little boat at. I'm gonna have to turn the axle, but I gotta get these off. So I already know I gotta get these off to get that small little boat out. So I'm gonna take these off and we are gonna do the same thing. Ain't no use of me showing y'all all of this because we already did it. I'll just get back with y'all when we done and we leaving this junkyard, man. Get up out this heat. Yeah, I guess I lied to y'all, huh? I said I wasn't gonna show y'all nothing else. But if you still here, you lucky, man. You get more footage. Cause some of this y'all didn't see um, on the first one we did. So that bolt right there is what holds this piece in. So I take my magnet and pull this up out of there. Just like so. That's what releases. Um, that way he can push that in and pop them C-clips out. So you can go ahead. Hold up, hold up. See, it's something different every time. Let it go. It's something different every time, y'all. See if I can get where I can see the C clips. Okay. Push it in. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm right here with y'all, man. I'm I'm learning too, man. I ain't never did this before. Except a few minutes ago. But this this rear end is made different than the one that we was just working on, though. For real, for real. Push it in again. Huh. Come to come to this side and push it. Hold on, not yet. All right, now. Yeah. See, amateur hour, y'all. Y'all give me a minute so I can get in here. I gotta see where these C clips at so I can pull them out. Um. I see that they just not gonna fall out like they did on the other rear end. So um, I gotta get in there and get them with my uh, with my magnet. Whatever I did with it. Uh, see what I, it's behind me. Oh, okay. I think they supposed to stay up in here somewhere. But yeah, y'all give me a second. I'll be back. Yeah, y'all, so this one was a little bit different. Um, the other one, the C clips just fell out. Uh, this one didn't, and I think because um, I think it's because the fluid in the other one was so worn out, it wasn't doing what it was supposed to. Because everybody that I seen do this had to pull it out with a um, with a magnet or something like that. So if y'all can see when he, all right, push push that side in. See, when he pushed that in, that's that C-clip right there. Now let it go. All right, push it back in. See, that C-clip right there was falling out last time. But 
now it's not falling out for so what i had to do with the other side was just stick a screwdriver up in there and um and pop it out so i'm gonna try to do this with one hand it's right here so if i can just pop that out because my magnet wasn't small enough to get in there hold up hey let it go it's, it's not in it's not in no. push it in again okay keep it in uh-huh turn it as you pushing it in hold up hold up the other way other way all right keep going ho 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 see that one won't just fall out and i don't have a magnet small enough to go in there turn it back so i can see it you ain't got to push it in just turn it because see we had the other side down and they just fell right out ho 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 ah. Struggling, y'all. I'm struggling. Push it in. See, I just need. Hold up. Open. I mean, let it out. Push it in again. All right. I was trying. I wanted you to leave it. Leave it in. There it go. See, it's actually turning now. Just can't. Okay, turn it. This turn it toward me. Maybe it'll fall out. Oh no. Go back. There it go. Alright. So it fell out. So now you can pull it, pull it out. Whew. Man, it ain't never what you think it's gonna be, man. My camera all blurry. It ain't never what you think it's gonna be, but you know, we do one and we don't have no issues, then we do this one and we get stuck for a minute. But we got both axles out now. I know my camera is blurry. Yeah, so like I said, I know my camera was blurry. Um, you know, we thought it was gonna be a walk in the park with this one. It wasn't the same as the first one we did. So, you know, it is what it is, but we do have the calipers off. Um, we about to take these bolts out now so we can get this back and plate off both sides. And like I said, probably three times already, we're gonna get the, the hell up out of here, man. Cause it's steady getting hot, bro. These the back in plates. Back in plates, we got them off of 2,098 blazer, I believe. All right, YouTube, we got what we came for, and now we out. Uh, we ain't been out here too long, but it still was long when you're dealing with this heat, man. It still was long when you're dealing with this heat. But we about to get in some AC, get some, some drink, and something to eat, and we about to chill for the rest of the day, man. Hopefully, everybody had a good fourth. Um... If y'all still chilling, man, I hope y'all have a good, safe rest of y'all weekend, man. And get ready for that work week coming up next week. If you're a normal person like most of us on this channel, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, so we got all four uh, backing plates for the real disc brake conversion. So we got the ones for my car and the ones for the Cutlass. So uh, we about to be out of here, man. Y'all don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we turn in these wrenches, man. I mean, Another successful day, y'all. We got all four black backing plates for $27. Don't get me the line, man. Don't get me the line. $27.08. All back in place. 2708. You 
you can't beat it. Talking about cheap upgrades. Like I said, I don't need all that crazy stuff, man. I ain't, I ain't making no noise. We just doing a little something, something. So, another successful day, man, in the junkyard. Two days in a row. Two days in a row, man. We done got out here and made something happen, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, man. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop these videos, man. And I'm actually out of here this time. I'll catch y'all on the next one, man.